This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to Java JDK uh, 1.8 series. So just a quick topic that what do you mean by uh, Lambda expressions and how can we use with the, uh, I mean, how can we use the method references also? It's a new feature implemented in JDK 1.8. And uh, I just give you a basic idea. It's a quick video I thought of creating because we will be using the same concept in the upcoming chapters. So that time you should not be getting confused. So how to uh, do that? So let me create a class over here first. And uh, I'll simply say that a class and I'll tell you what is the need of Lambda and why exactly we can, what is the replacement of uh, anonymous class to Lambda? So I simply say Lambda, uh, lambda expression and uh, we will take one more chapter that is called references one more topic references select the main method and click on finish now one thing you need to understand that okay there is a, a there is one you search for iterable okay let me write can you see that this iterable you just simply click on it and this interface this okay interface iterable is available and uh, this is having one method that is called for each method you must be hearing about that okay for each method that is you can directly apply on a particular list okay on a particular array list you can apply and it's saying that okay this is will take one consumer over here and consumer part we have already discussed about it so this is an interface and there are multiple uh, sub interfaces as well as multiple uh, classes are there which are implementing the same iterable this is not iterator this is iterable interfaces available so all the collection classes like if you see prior dq if you see array list array dq abstract set okay abstract queue and if you see uh, let's see linked list also link has set okay all these guys are vector tree and everybody okay uh, they are implementing this particular iterable interface so you can directly on any kind of collection for all these kind of collection you can apply this for each method over there so it's saying perform the given action for each element of the iterable until all elements have been processed so you don't need to write a for loop or something okay so it will process each and every element of that particular list of that particular collection until all the elements are processed or any exception exception is coming in between like that okay so this is the internally the default implementation behave like this internally like this okay so this is a standard way of uh, doing this after uh, typical for loop and then you just need to use this particular method so how to do this so let's see uh, i'll create one uh, okay let's create one list over here so i'm going to create one list which is uh, let's see a string type list and let's see this is my uh, uh, names name of the employees is equal to I simple create let's see arrays dot as List and then I'll maintain some strings over here some student name is let's see Tom Then I'll be writing that okay. Let's see Peter Then I'll be writing let's see student name is Naveen and then I'll write let's see student name is Simon So these are the four students. Let's see I have written over here. So arrays dot as list and then this list import from java.util package okay now uh, this is comma so i have created this particular list now in this particular i'll give a name let's see names list whatever name you want to give you just apply list dot this for each method is available over here and this you see the signature is saying you give me the consumer over here so let's say i'm going to give the consumer interface so you just write it like this you create one anonymous class with this particular consumer interface okay that uh, what kind of interface this will take the string type and this is the thing that you have to use it like this so this will behave like a okay like the overridden class so this is the concept of anonymous class so you don't need to create a separate class which is uh, implementing uh, consumer interface so you can directly write, write it like this and what one method is there in consumer okay if you remember right which method that accept method is there so you need to override that particular accept method so that's why it's saying that okay please add unimplemented method because this block from here to here will behave like a class only 
So don't be confused that okay, new keyword and consumer as an interface. How can you create the object of interface? No, I'm not going to create the object of interface. This entire block is representing an anonymous class. Okay, so I'll say that okay, this is the anonymous class. Now this consumer is saying that okay, we have a method that is the except method we have to implement that so you have to add the red override and then you have to implement this particular class let me just copy this guy from here to here right and then you simply say that okay uh whatever the t or what is the variable that you are passing system dot out of print ln print t that's it okay and then you run this particular program so let's see what happens if you notice the same exact kind of thing we use in fluent weight also See Tom Peter with this. So you don't need to create any for loop or nothing. Simple for each loop will do that. So this is the first way of doing it. The internal implementation with the anonymous class, you can simply do that. So this is my first concept is that, okay, with anonymous, okay, like this, you can do that, right? Now, the second way, if you really want to make it short, that looks a little lengthy and a little confusing, right? So you can simply use the Lambda expression over here okay alternatively so i simply say that okay i'll replace this entire anonymous concept to lambda expression so i simply say that okay lambda okay with lambda expression so how to do that so lambda is always denoted by remember guys this thing one arrow like this without any space so one dash and greater than sign so this is called lambda expression over here now how will you replace that you simply do one thing this is my names list and apply your dot for each once again right and then for each loop says okay you give me a consumer so i'm just giving a consumer let's see my str which is this particular parameter will be given to what our system dot outward print telling so what is the definition of consumer i told you it will take parameter but it will return void method so i simply say that okay yeah uh, system dot outward print telling and you print the same str over here like this so one single line will print all the values from the error list so no need to create this confusing anonymous class and all those things you can simply say that okay yeah like this you can do that okay so let's run it again and let's see see again i'm getting the same output tom peter naveen simon so like this also you can do that and if you really want to make it more short so there is the concept is called method references okay so in that case method references you can replace the lambda expression by the method references now it will be more easy now see the code it will be super easy now nameless dot for each and you simple write uh, system is a class dot out and then put a colon colon and then give the method reference name over here which method do you want to use system dot order print ln and that's it so this is the concept of method references and then you run it again and then that's it See, it's printing once again, same thing, right? So like this, you can simply do that over here. And it's not only for a string type of data, it can be applied for any kind of thing. So let's see, I think we created one example earlier that uh, for consumer, consumer interface concept here, see, this is the Lambda expression I'm using it. Now, if you really want to avoid the Lambda expression, you simply say that, okay, list dot for each, and you simply write system dot out method expression which method do you want to use print ln that's it okay system dot out print ln which will print the entire list this list having these numbers over here it will take one consumer so remember for each method will always take one consumer okay people might ask you at a time of interview which parameter it will take it will take consumer interface parameter and you simply run it you see 1 to 10 getting printed because of this also at line number 18 also for each loop is there it's getting printed like this also so it will be very simple now see the code a typical other ways of doing it what the typical way is that you create a for loop like this and start one end here i equal to zero and i less than what names uh, list dot size and then i plus plus this is what we used to do that and then system dot out print ln you print names list dot get i right so this is also doing a typical for loop so i simply using for loop 
you must have seen in my previous chapters also and you run it see you are getting the same thing over here right now the second way is and let me write a separator over here so that you can see the separate output second way is that you can simply use uh for each loop like this okay so i simply say that okay uh, what kind of data the string type of data the string t is present coming from i mean pointing to names list and then you can write it like this also system dot out of print and print the value of t okay and let me write a separator so that you can see the output properly right and for this also like this so run it again and you see for every okay mechanism you are getting the same output but you see that okay this this for loop no need to write unnecessary or typical for loop this is the second way that okay you can use simple for each loop like this and then you can apply anonymous class also you can do it like this to print a list over here and then you can use a lambda expression also like this which is coming from jdk 1.8 so these things are coming from JDK 1.8 actually. And then you can use a Lambda expression like this. And then if you can really want to use method references, the replacement of Lambda, you can give a method references also over here like that. So these are the one, two, three, three plus two, five ways of printing the values from the error list. You can simply do that. Okay, so people might ask you at a time of interview that, okay, give me uh, what are the different ways of printing the values from collection or error list, you can simply do something like this okay so this is a concept of method references over here guys okay is this clear i hope it's clear now right so like this uh, you because these things we might use in upcoming chapters so that's why i thought of uh, you know quickly creating such things so that you will understand better because that's why the most of the people they do the mistake that okay they're directly jumping into the uh, you know streaming topic and uh, JDK API 1.8 APIs and people are not getting things over there So that will be more and more confusing for you that okay why we are uh, Using it like this so better guys you understand like this and then only you can understand the further chapters Right, so that's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any issues. Thank you so much